five bells. Stand by all stations. Attention, all districts. A five alarm fire. Five bells move in immediately. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Firefighters! Presenting Firefighters, the true tonight story of our unsung heroes who stand ready to ride by day or night against our most murderous enemy, the demon of fire. In just a minute, we'll join Chief Cody and young Tim Collins on the deck of Mike Halloran's tugboat, which you remember is struggling to tow the flaming oil barge away from the docks and river traffic. The whole barge is a boiling, blazing mass, so fierce the deck of the tugboat is almost unbearably hot. Mike Halloran hopes to get the raging inferno towed to a small island at the mouth of the harbor where it can be beached. But now there's a new development that may make that impossible. We'll learn about it right after we hear this message. Let's go, firefighters. Let's join Chief Cody and Tim on the deck of Mike Halloran's tugboat, which is struggling against wind and tide to tow the blazing barge out of the stream of river traffic. The fireboat, under the command of Captain Jarvis, is standing by trying to keep the blazing oil on the water from spreading to other boats on the river. But now, let's join Chief Cody and Tim standing near the stern of the tug. The perspiration is pouring from them. The chief has an anxious eye on the cable stretched taut between the tug and the barge, but he merely says, I expect we're about the hottest thing on the seven seas. You can say that again, chief. But we're on dry land, Tim, if we could only turn a couple of companies to work on that barge. Yes, sir. Makes you feel kind of helpless just standing around, doesn't it, chief? Here comes my collar. Everything under control, Captain? Not until we get that scow on the beach, it isn't, chief. The shipping seems to be giving us a wide berth, huh? Can't blame them. Wish we'd worked our way farther away from those docks than we have. We're getting there, Mike. Wind, tide, everything against us. What's the matter, Tim? Hurt your hand? Oh, no, sir, no. Believe it or not, I just leaned my hand against this railing and darn near burned it. Say, feel that, Chief. Huh? Hey, Jim! Can't you pay out any more of that cable? The more distance between us and the bars, the better. Well, the safer, I'd say. Your tug won't be much help if it bursts in the flame. How about that, Chief? Couldn't Captain Jarvis on the fireboat use those monitors to give us a curtain of water? Well, they're sure enough wasting them on that barge. Oh, oh forget it. Get me away from that cable, Jim. Come on, boys. Come on. Now, we'd better move out of the way, too. Are you afraid it's going to snap? Mike and I have been afraid of that since we arrived, son. Look, did you forget the other end of that is attached to the barge? Oh, say, once that burning oil spreads enough to go to work on it. Right. If you can burn your hand on the railing this far away, imagine what that heat is doing to the cable. Oh. You mean what it did? Not as much snap as they feared. Sorry, Chief. That puts us out of the race. It's humanly impossible to attach another cable. In that inferno? We'd better get back to the fireboat, Tim. That's where the action starts now. Yes, sir, but what on earth can they do, Chief? The barge is free to drift with the wind and the tide. Captain Jarvis knows his business, Tim. We'll help him. You're helpless, Chief. The only thing that counts now is keeping that barge away from the docks. How are you going to do that? I don't know. But if she's allowed to drift another ten minutes... We're going to have the biggest waterfront fire on record. Uh, Yes, sir, I guess you're right, see? She started that way already. Yeah, and moving fast. Mike. Yeah, Chief. Bring us alongside the fireboat. We've got to act fast. Right away, Chief. Bring your hands to starboard, Ed. And you, Jim, stand by to throw him a line. With the smooth skill of an old river pilot, Mike Halloran brings his little tug alongside the fireboat. Hardly before the two vessels touch, Chief Cody and Tim leap aboard Captain Jarvis's boat. (laughs) Thanks, Mike. And Mike. Yes, Chief. Better stand off nearby. Don't know yet what we're going to have to do, but we may need your help. Right. Do everything you can. Thanks. Well, Captain Jarvis, we've got a real fire on our hands now. What do you suggest? Anything that'll stop that barge short of the docks. That's the problem, all right, but how? There's only one thing to do as I see it. Uh, step into the wheelhouse, Chief, and I'll show you what I have in mind. Right. Now, Tim. Yes, Chief. Uh, better look up your brother, Jimmy. See if he's all right. This is more excitement than he bargained for, I guess. Oh, yes, sir. Me, too, for that matter. 
I'll go find him. You'll find him in the galley, I think. I sent him down to get himself a sandwich. Right. Thanks, Captain. Uh, Step in, Chief. All right, thanks. Now then, what's your plan, Captain? Well, according to the tide tables, the tide will turn in about 20 minutes. She'll be going out. That means the barge should stop her drift toward the docks. eh? We'll check it anyway. Yes, but we can't wait 20 minutes, man. You can see yourself. In less time than that, she'll be right up against that big pier. I'm afraid you're right, Chief. That's why somebody has got to get in close to that flaming inferno. Get their bow up against her and stop her from drifting. Well, that's a tough assignment, Jarvis. Standing off as we are now is bad enough. Be like a blast furnace right up against her. It's the only way, Chief. And the only one who can do it, I'm afraid, is Mike Halloran. Good heavens, man, we can't send Mike into a thing like that. If anybody goes into a... Well, I think the fireboat should. We don't have the power, Chief, to push that big barge against the tide. It's a job for a tugboat with a motor that's built especially for the job. You sure of that? I'm positive, Chief. Okay, you know your own boat. I'll tell Mike. We gotta move fast. Uh, we'll move in beside him and cover his bow with our monitors. If we bring them all to bear, we may be able to keep his boat from catching fire. I wouldn't blame Mike if he told us to go jump in the river. It's almost suicide. Old Mike won't refuse. He's one of the best on the river. Uh, here, here's the megaphone. Thanks. Ahoy there, Mike! Yeah, Chief! Mike, we got a job for you. A tough job. Can you do it? Boy, Calvin can do any job on the river. Fine, Mike. Now this is what you do. Quickly, Chief Cody gives Mike Halloran his instructions. And without hesitation, the tough river pilot brings his stubby little craft about and heads straight for the flaming barge. He knows it may cost him his ship, perhaps his life. But Mike Halloran is a man who does what has to be done bravely without flinching. The floating inferno only a few yards from the docks, Mike Halloran rams the bow of his tugboat up against the barge as Chief Cody and the rest on the fireboat watch breathlessly. He's got his power up against her. Good for Mike. Keep that pipe in front of the Raise it a little. There, that's it. I'll hold her right there. Oh, gosh, it's heat. It's, it's hard to breathe. This is a regular inferno, all right. Glad you got Jimmy out of here. This is no place for anyone who doesn't have to risk his life. Yes, sir, he's below. It's cooler there. I think Mike's set for drift, Chief. Yeah, I believe you're right. He's not doing much more than holding her against the tide and wind, but... He's not getting any nearer the dock. Good. Now if we can only... You! Up on number three, monitor! Keep the steam on the bow! We can only keep our water down. Ahoy, Chief! Mike sounds like he's in trouble, Chief. He is in trouble. Mike! What is it? My bow! Mallard's got my bow! Jump with oil! Burn it! Where is the whole thing going? We've got to get him out of there. His bow is on fire. That water's just like salt. Hey! Hey, back her off! Get clear of her! Back her off! Get away from her! But I can't let her drift into the dark! Back away, Mike! Back away, where the boat is! We'll take over! But Captain, I thought our boat wasn't powerful enough to hold the barge against the tide. Well, the tide's just about ready to turn, Chief. It's like water now. In a few minutes, you'll be going out. Yes, but even so, with the tide with... I think we can hold her. Maybe even push her out of this river traffic. If we don't catch fire like Mike did. Well, we've got a steel hull, Chief. Mike's is wood. It'll get hotter, hotter than anything in this world. But it's a chance we'll have to take. Mike's backing away, Chief. Okay, this is where we move in. Stand by, all hands! We're heading for the bars! Jim, Jim, there's no use you standing out here on deck like this, risking your life. After all, this is not your line of duty. Now, why don't you go... Chief, are you ordering me off the deck... Well, not exactly, son. You can suit yourself, but it's going to be dangerous. Well, as long as it isn't an order, I'm staying, Chief. Engine room. Ahead. One third. All right. Here we go. Straight into that raging inferno. And the Lord help us all. Well, from the tone of Chief Cody's voice, it's plain that this is one of the toughest spots the old smoke eater has ever found himself in. Mike Halloran tried getting in close to the flaming oil barge and had to back off, the bow of his tugboat on fire. Can the fireboat do any better? Well, whether or not they can, Captain Jarvis is going to try, even though it risks his ship and his crew. Now, just what happens when the fireboat moves in on that burning barge? Well, you'll learn in our next True to Life episode of The Firefighters. (laughs) 
In just a moment, Chief Bob Cody will tell you, boys and girls, how you can help the firefighters in your own town. But first, here's a message you ought to hear. And now, boys and girls, listen. Here's Chief Bob Cody with a very special message for all of you in the Firefighters Brigade. Chief Cody. Hello, boys and girls. This is Chief Cody with another reminder about a very common kind of fire hazard. Now, a large percentage of fires in the home start from faulty chimneys and flue, from old brick chimneys that have dried and cracked, allowing the fire to sneak through, and ignite the roof. Now, to avoid these kind of fires, why don't you make an inspection of the chimneys and stovepipes in your home? And if you find they're cracked and dangerous, be sure to have them repaired. For remember, what burns never returns. Well, that's all for now. Till you hear from me again, so long. Fire Chief Cody and the young rookie fireman Tim Collins will be back on the same station the next time you hear... That's it. Let's go! Firefighters is a copyrighted feature of William F. Holland Productions.